Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Eric. So the question is that four year old system administrator system. Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Eric. So the question is that four year old system administrator want to change career into older IT field. So now let me read the question to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu which is Arabic which basically means peace upon you Alhamdulillah peace upon you which again means peace upon him so I'm reading a question right now my name is Samir Imtiaz age 29 an IT engineer a graduate and hail from India I really adore your work I am mailing you for the first time and I like to seek your career I like to seek your advice for my career and then he said that I've been working as a system administrator for past four years I already feel I am exhausted burnout begin administrator I really feel that I need a career change within IT field and I don't know where to start from I have been suggested by my colleagues and my friend and I completely confused among the following so basically he some of his colleagues is saying that you must try to look into this tech field I don't want to get scarily dry in future by choosing them please help me in my decision so he said that cloud computing SAP UI5 web programming ECM network VMware or virtualization inform inform informatical BI tool or business intelligence tools Java and then I think so Java programming your advice is not limited to this please guide me jazakallah and he said thanks so the question is that there's a guy 29 years old from india he had been system system administrator for four years but now he's tired of that job he really want to change the job so he's asking the question which job or which kind of tech career should they look for first for cloud computing cloud computing cloud computing is a good career unless you really know what the hell you're doing I mean you really need some good certification you can look into the I think CompTIA and then it's much better you get a degree in like e-business or e-commerce or digital marketing which help you SAP UI5 which again is a government level I mean programming if you don't know I hate SAP to be honest with you if you learn SAP you again need a degree to be honest with you get a government job so stay away from SAM EMC networker again I mean network is becoming like software as a network is becoming like network as a service so you already know the writing on the wall VMware virtualization is not a specific career again it is a niche market tech field you need to be expert at and then you talk about informatic or business tools again this come into like e-commerce analytics stuff i mean java programming here what i will say learn java programming we learn java pro not only you can become a java developer you can even go into web development like with using jsp java server pay not only that you can build mobile apps android mobile apps i mean if you learn java 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 programming language for example learning php will be like learning in a week time it will be freaking easy the money is in web development mobile app development web development mobile app development so here it, what my advice is if you really don't want to be exhausted again programming is not hard programming is not easy, easy. programming is just keep going on keep moving on keep the ball moving ahead step by step every day i mean so again it will come are you really ready to put four hours a day minimum learning programming java programming java programming java programming or second option you can look into the like ios development using swift programming swift programming have like five to ten year life shed but java developer my personal opinion become choose your niche become a java software developer first you learn java and then decide you want to become a java developer only software java software developer or you want to become gsp java server page developer which is a web developer or you want to become a java android developer and then my personal opinion is that buy the book called big java my personal i think i read the big java book like the fifth edition 
currently now and now this year i mean they launched big java book which is 8 edition the book will cost you around 100 bucks it will be freaking expensive buy that book but at the end of the day you will thank you to be honest with you big java book is one of the best book to start learning programming again buy big java book my personal opinion or you can look into udacity uh, introduction to java programming i will be including that link in the description box and then after you're done with java why not become an android developer you can look into nano degree personally i like nano degree if you don't know currently i'm working for udacity as a guide mentor for programming nano degree i'm quite busy yeah to be honest with you anyways if you really want to hear some good story there is a man called okay i don't want to name him. she's 65 there's another woman called again i don't want to name she work for like i mean labor union something like that. she's 55 65 55 they are coming into programming again you're only 20 young you're too newbie and the second thing is that to be honest uh, second thing is nothing related or this that is a top of another because i mean i think at the end of next year 2016 or beginning of 2017 i'm going to start a programming boot camp maybe in pakistan to be honest with you why because programming with the money is it's it, it my biggest project ever to be honest with you I, I I don't know how really to handle this big project. I think next year in March or April I'm going to Malaysia for a professional training in digital marketing. It costs a lot of money. It really costs a lot of money. I mean I will fly from South Korea to Malaysia for five day bloody training. For five day bloody training by Google and then this all I mean have big companies. For five days, like Microsoft, they will train me in digital marketing. It costs you like I mean two thousand bucks. I mean, I think three thousand bucks total. Yeah, yeah. It will cost you three thousand bucks. They will give you five day training, and then uh, you need to uh, take the exam. I mean, in a testing center similar to Compria exams. I mean, and then you will issue like a professional diploma. If you get your professional diploma, and then without degree, you can just I mean join master in digital marketing. So, so digital marketing is a big thing whatever you become always learn a, a bit of digital marketing again i will recap java 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 where the money is anyways i have this answer the question it's me give me a gig and then why not leave another question in the description box below or you can go to my website and then ask me there or you can just send me the question at jimmy at geek at gmail.com why the hell i'm not using like uh, ask question at, at gmail.com why I'm using gmail because I'm not ready to pay five bucks every month to again google it's me gmail bye